but I'm not sure how popular of a use case that is compared to other things or the recognizes that make. Well, in that case, what you do is you just fold on the screen bound and it's just a normal fold. A multi tit a movie on Netflix or something. It's just it's just a, it's just a split and, and if you're really looking for that multitasking experience, it can do it. But I'm not sure how popular of a use case that is compared to other things or the compromises that you make. Well, in that case, what you do is you just fold on the screen bound and it's just a normal phone at that point, and right? The, the, the scanning capabilities. Well, it's still, a, but it's, it's not a tiny screen. I, I haven't complained about this screen ever. It, it's perfectly sized. And what I will say is. You know, the, the spanning capability, I, I think Microsoft advertised it wrong. Um, it's a it's a bonus. It's not a core part of the experience uh, because most apps don't support it. You're, you're totally right about that. Some apps will accidentally support it sometimes, and obviously most of Microsoft's apps support it, but a lot of apps just don't. And in that case, you just wouldn't span them. You'd just use it on one screen or you'd be using two apps side by side or you'd fold one of the screens around and use it as a single screen phone. And yeah, I totally get the criticism of, yeah, but I bought a phone with eight inches of total screen real estate, I want to use all of it at once, and in that case, yeah, this device isn't going to be for you, it's for people who sort of prefer running to apps side by side, or if they're not using a single screen phone, because that's what being able to fold all the way around does for you, and then in the rare circumstance where it works, being able to scan an app gives you that from both screens using one app, and it looks great, and it feels great, but yeah, it's for the most part not a phone where you want to be spanning with jobs across both screens, because you, you just wouldn't want to do that, I know some people say that they watch videos across both screens. I think they're insane. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I the thing that surprises me the most about the duo is that Microsoft is still backing it and still investing in it. Yeah, I think Microsoft wants to have a successful phone business, um, and they're doing it right now with the Duo 2. Who's to say that they won't expand in the future to other form uh, factors running Android that also fit in your pocket? I'm, of course, hinting at maybe a single-screen phone or a Galaxy Fold-type device. I, I would not be surprised if they had prototypes, things like that, internally. I think Microsoft generally wants to have a, a, a successful, I don't know how successful, or have a phone business of some kind, because they are, they're all in on Android, right? You know, they... Their recent reel, they created a new uh, Microsoft Android sort of group internally, which houses the Duo OS, it houses Swift Key, Microsoft Launcher, all of their Android app efforts sort of under one uh, organization. And I think what they want is to do what they did with, with Windows and Surface, but with Android. They want to just have an Android device that showcases the best of all of their software on an open platform, which is Android. And how better else to do that than with phones? Because <laughs> that's what Android is Partner with Samsung. Partner with Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> Samsung, Samsung won't set the launcher as defaults and have Edge as the default browser. Right? That, that's the key thing there. I know that there are partnerships with Samsung and you have OneDrive doing backups for, I think, uh, uh, Samsung Photos and stuff. And there are some pre-installed apps from Microsoft um, and obviously the integration with, with PhoneLink. Um, but you don't get that Microsoft launcher default sort of experience. You don't get Edge as defaults and all that stuff, which I think is what Microsoft really wants <laughs> at the forefront of a, of a device. So Samsung will, will I, I don't think, ever let Microsoft do that. So 2023, for you saying October 2023, late 2023 is when... Uh, yeah, it's in late 2023. I, I've got the exact time frame, yeah. And obviously that could be it's pushed back. We have no idea. Yeah, it's usually October, you're right. But, we, we, you know, as, as of right now, I think they're targeting late 2023. Um, that could be pushed back if, you know, if the, the component shortage doesn't improve and they're not ready to sort of ship something yet. But as of right now, they're targeting the end of next year. And, um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll see what that turns out to be like. That is a little disappointing. That, like, if they're trying to compete in the phone space, like you said, uh, that they can't keep up a phone with flagship hardware like their competitors are doing. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, mean, I, I would, Gen 1 is a generation behind. Yeah, Gen 1, yeah, Gen 2 is now behind. It's almost a year old. I will say, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the next duo is radically different. Um, you know, they, they always say, you know, they, they try three times. Every, every third generation of a service product is usually the perfected one, right? Where the, the Pro 3, I think that was the only one that actually really did that. But, um, <laughs> laptop 3 did it. I would, it didn't, and laptop, laptop 3. 3 didn't look different, yeah. but, but it, the weight balance was totally different. They totally made it. They had the 15 inch one. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Um, yeah, the, I, I would not be shocked if the Duo 3 is, is radically different. Um, I would not even be surprised if they go single screen foldable for the Duo 3 and just have the, the dual screen nature of it be through software. So that would be a question. That's your question down in the show notes. What about the God. Studio 3? Studio 3. I've, 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 I've heard a report from my friend Zach Bowden that, that 
which I had only heard from Zach, but makes perfect sense with 12th Gen Intel and uh, Ryzen 6000, uh, which makes a lot of sense because that means, like, the last two years we've seen Surface Laptop in the spring, they've stayed a generation behind with Ryzen, and so now I guess they're going to catch up, and that makes a lot of sense because they're adding Thunderbolt now, which they did with Surface Pro 8 and Laptop uh, Studio, finally. Uh, so now if they use Ryzen 6000, they could pair that with USB 4, so there doesn't have to be such a disparity between the Intel model and the AMD model. But Zach, yeah. <laughs> can you add yeah. to that? Because Zach's yeah. the, surface, the, the surface expert. I don't know why you say Rich take that. <laughs> well, I'll let you what you thought first. Um, so yeah, we're going uh, to... So, so you can tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I honestly think most of, got most of that right. Um, uh, the Studio 3 is interesting because uh, I heard that they wanted to ship a Studio 3 in 2020, but then the pandemic happened and I think they decided not to do that. Um, so they've been sitting on whatever in the Studio 3 is for a little while. I would hope they've updated it since then. But as I mean, last I heard, they like planning. Yeah, I don't know about a redesign, but I, I, I understand that they are kind of hoping to get it out later this year. So I assume it will be announced in October alongside all these other products. Watching? Say hi in the chat if you're watching. I can't really be in the chat right now. I'm driving, as you can tell. I'm going to that uh, one intersection where they're filming. Uh... Oh, hi. Karen, you're here. I can't read your chat right now. We're going to that one, one intersection where uh, Chill says they uh, filmed Terminator 2. We're about four or five minutes away, I would say. And, uh, to try to LA. This is uh where, where are we? We're taking a panorama city. I think. So we're like north of LA, northwest of LA a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure what we'll see. I don't think there's much to see. I think it's just a intersection that crosses a, a, a ditch. I guess I could put my car in a full self-driving and then uh, read things, but that feels unsafe. Lucky donuts, croissants. Ooh, I do like a good croissant. Hey, chill, chill's here. Hey, chill. I can't really read the chats. Hi, all. Hi, chill. Some kind of robot face or something. We're driving. Yeah, you're driving. We're, we're about five minutes away from the destination, chill. Sorry, I, I, I can't read the chats right now. Oh, shoot, the chat went away. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're about five minutes away. Uh, we're on Plummer already. Now we're just heading toward Havenhurst. Although, I might stop by this Lucky Donuts and Croissants later. Let's get a croissant. I love a good croissant. <coughs> we're in, I think, Panorama City. It's where the street is. Um, it's not that nice of a neighborhood. It's a little bit shady, but I'm okay with that. I grew up in a shady place, so you know, I'm used to it. Um, so we'll see uh, what we get to see there. I don't know what, I don't know what you're looking for exactly, Chill. Like, we'll see the intersection, we'll see the, we'll, we'll see the ditch. I'm not gonna crawl down to the ditch. Hear me? Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't. I can't, I can't really do anything. You can't hear me. <coughs> so, uh, yeah.
LA, LA, LA. We are in LA. That's right. How are you doing, chill? Be right back. Be right back. We're only like two giant blocks away. So about two minutes away. I'm wearing two, two, two blocks. It's about two miles away. I guess each block is about half a mile. <coughs> How's everybody doing today? This is what it feels like to ride a Tesla. It's kind of quiet. I don't know if you can hear the fan. It is uh, 94 degrees outside, so it's kind of warm. So the air is blasting. So you hear that background noise. That's probably what it is. Um, how hot is it where you are now, Jill? Did it cool down? That, that heat wave sounded terrible. I mean, 100 degrees is bad. 100 degrees at a place where it never gets up to 100 degrees is very, very bad. Because you're not prepared for it. I mean, it's like it's like uh, having earthquakes in Oklahoma. It's like they have, they have like a 3 point something earthquake. It's like, oh, 3 point something, that's nothing. Because here we have 3 point something earthquakes all the time. We, we don't, sometimes we don't even feel it anymore. It's just so, you know, it's so small. But when your when building's not designed for it, street and then I'll park. Let's go down. Um, put on my mask, but I don't think I need it because I'm outside. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down with me to the car. Now I just look like a crazy person talking to myself on my phone. This is my car. Uh, here we go. This. Oh, let's go. Okay. Is Chill still here? Oh, what was the chat? Oh, it's like, I'm trying to do this. I don't know. I don't know what kind of delay I'm getting to because I'm just using my, my cell data. Yeah, okay, Chill, you're here. Okay, good. Because uh, we're doing this just for you. So we're like uh, for the corner of, uh, well, this is uh, Plummer and Gerald. See, up there, Gerald. Gerald? Gerald or Gerald? <laughs> Just realized I don't read. Okay, I'm just gonna walk over. Cause, uh, I couldn't find a place to park. I'm here. My mom and I are watching this. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's not much people on the street here. So, uh, I don't look completely crazy. But, uh, yeah, this is the intersection. This is, uh, 
back alleyway. Man, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, dress shirt, and long pants and dress shoes, and it's 95 degrees outside. This is a trying time. All right, which which intersection do you want to cross? Uh, you aren't crazy. You're just eccentric, or however you spell it. Well, let's go cross here. Okay, so we can cross now. All right, so this is the intersection. Uh, you got Plummer, see, Plummer up there. This is Havenhurst. Oh, some guy's waiting for me because I'm trying to make a left turn. All right, so I don't know which way they went, but uh, this is the ditch, All right? Which, which should they go? The, the ditch is here. Can't read. Ha ha. You overdressed for this. I'm always overdressed. Holy OMH. Oh. That's a dish. That's the side. Uh, and then there's some planters in front. Can you see the intersection of Havenhurst? Can I zoom? I don't know how to zoom on this. A plumber. Yeah. I'll cross over to the other side. Alright, so the flight's almost done there, so we can cross here. OMG, okay. That makes more sense. Oh shoot, I didn't push the button. That's I'm going for it anyway. Right. Look, 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 this is the, uh, look, it's a dog. The, the plants, they, they grew, they, they cut it in the shape of a dog. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't see my screen anymore. Isn't that cute? Let me go on the other side. I'm walking under... I don't know what that is. I think it's a squirrel. I'm walking underneath the dog now. And, uh... Look! Oh, it is a squirrel. It's a squirrel riding a dog. You guys see a squirrel? I'm afraid to approach a squirrel because I don't want to get attacked by a squirrel. Uh, it's a uh, uh, irrational fear. See the dog? Yeah! Nice. Yeah, cool. We see the dog. <laughs> Nix. I, I jealous as hell right now. Oh, no need. Uh, it's extremely hot and uh, uh oh, there's a guy coming over. It's uh, it's, uh skating across. All right, there's no there's no button here, so we'll just we'll just cross when we can. Uh, so, yeah, plumber. Oh, we're in Northridge. Northridge now. Northridge was uh, the, the home of the uh, 94 earthquake. That one did a lot of damage. And uh, we definitely felt that. That was the last big, big earthquake, 94. So we're way overdue for an earthquake. Let's see. There we go. Right. I'm going to scurry across because someone's trying to turn left here. Uh, is, uh, is more of the, uh, more the ditch. So I don't... I don't... Sorry. It's a plane overhead. I don't remember which, which way did they travel down this ditch because you can definitely see the one side with the, uh, with the walkway, right? The pathway. The other side didn't have it. So I don't remember if they're traveling down this direction or the opposite direction. Let's see, Let's see if we can get closer. Oh no, it's fenced off. I mean, the fence is only up to my shoulder, so it's not that high, but it's also not stable enough to really climb it. Yeah, so there's a ditch. Uh, you guys say anything? Hop the fence. No, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, see, let's see what I miss. Charles, please take some squirrel on dog. This is the dog. Please take so many pictures. I didn't take any pictures. I, I'm using my phone to stream. You probably look crazy right now. Well, what's, diff what's, what's different than any other day? This is such a famous area. Is it though? <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a ditch at an intersection. It's a weird place to have a ditch. 
It just you don't go under the intersection. Uh, let's see. You're like yelling and laughing at your phone. Oh well, yeah, but I have a mask on so they can't tell. Airplane, airplane, airplane. Hop the fence. I'm not gonna hop the fence. Those are sharp. Look how sharp those are. I can't hop the fence. I don't have that kind of athletic ability. Can I get on the other side? No, there's a, there's a gate there that's closed. Uh, this is why you should have watched the movie. Then you'd understand. Take picked. Take pics, man. Be right back. My mom's calling me. Take many pics to show on Discord. Of what? There's nothing to take a picture of. Okay, what happens if I try?